uh, access to information thematic uh, area. And uh, I'm just going to talk about our input. We are ready to have uh, for uh, we changed the date from December 2022 to November 2024 as the period for implementation of the uh, activity as discussed here yesterday. And our we also changed the lead, I mean uh, we also changed the name of the responsible person. You know, ministry you know, validation of the FOI draft bill with expanded stakeholders. That is after the review. Uh, then number four activity is identify, train and engage freedom of information desk officers. You know, like in our previous report, many desk officers were trained by Roland in the past, but due to change of uh, uh, work, uh, staff, many of them are no longer. presentation, when we go back to our group, please let us have a critical look at the action plan yeah, that's right. and see what and what can we drop. There are things that are, it's like uh, we are repeating ourselves, they are repeating it, so we can drop some to make the action plan so so precise smart, that can be implemented within this, uh, this remaining for two months. Okay. So let us have another, the next group. Next. Access to the I'm 
in the agitator over. So you, you, you just uh, you're supposed to agitate over, please. Yeah. So as I come up to the good border, you have to take over, yes. understand? So that to avoid consistency uh, uh, between the police and also the prosecution company. Understand? And uh, I heard that uh, you talk about the infrastructure also. Because one of the major things that we have in the state that uh, the infrastructure of our justice sector is so dilapidated in such a way that you cannot even sit here uh, for hours. So you have to talk about the infrastructure so that you want the government to modernize the court, look like court, not like uh, classrooms. You understand? So that, uh, that will also uh, assist us in enhancing the system. Now, also the compliance. Especially the dealer books, you understand? And the e dealer rights for, 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 for lawyers, for, for, for justice sector. You understand? All these are issues that will, that will assist us in, uh, in making their uh, this. And they will also, also vote for the retreat. You understand? <coughs> Even though you share the the retreat, but I don't think maybe the integrity the, is here for our material. So you have to look at all these areas. But I think that was help us to address some of these uh, issues in the uh, in justice sector. Please, I want to attend to what you are saying because we are trying to do our own here. Access to justice. I don't know if you take into you have taken into consideration the verb that has been fused with the uh, penal code. Because if you talk of just verb, you are talking of half of the work. The, the penal code has been reviewed and is infused with the verb law. The task is with the Ministry of Justice. We don't know where it is, but we are still going to start from now. So please, if you did not capture that, please help capture it. Because it's the hand with no hanging fruit that we can block. Um, yes, so I think most of the recommendations too. Acting and guided by yesterday's recommendations, that is by the OGP National. The local problem is speedy and timely dispensation of justice. What activities are we supposed to be doing that will facilitate speedy and timely dispensation of justice? That is a local problem. That is the local solution that we are looking for. So I would like to suggest that the group should focus on dwelling much on the problem and the problem is what we Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. I think we have enough enough recommendations. And now remember we are still in the past. Which group is going to attend? Uh, good morning, all. Uh, this is the fiscal transparency. And uh, based on the review, we come up with the following. The first one, looking at the permitment to ban as it is, uh, under lead MDA. Still Ministry of Planning and Budget and responsible person. I it's like I put down this one. You are you are projecting now. Yeah, but 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 not withstanding. We even these are the same. Yeah, yeah, why? No problem. Okay. So go down. No. Okay. Under the state actors, we review uh, due process bill as it is now renamed. So we take account uh, for that. So we added the other under non-state actors, two other organizations, Kaja Skemkalo IT Tracker. And looking into the new administration's priority, we look into the we look into the uh, blueprint of the His Excellency Engineer Abdul Yusuf. Uh, a point where they discuss about the issue of accountability, inclusiveness, and innovation. So this is what the government committed on this respect. 
that the intense run a government, to run a transfer of government through effective systems engagement and collaboration with relevant stakeholders. If you look at this one, it's speaking to the commitment, which is to ensure the uh, participation of citizens Please. across the entire budget cycle. So this statement, this this under accountability, this statement uh, uh, speak to that. Under inclusiveness, the government says they want to adopt an inclusive approach in managing the states, thereby creating an equal opportunity for all. It's still speaking to the object, to, to the commitment and under innovation. Incorporates new technologies of initiating and implementing all government projects and programs in line with the 21st century approach to meet the global best practice. The whole essence of the OGP is a global practice. So, how do you government making a commitment toward meeting the best standard and global practice uh, is worthy to take note? So, still under his elaborate speech, the sex made mention that. There will be a publication of weekly reports of the Executive Council meetings. So we quoted this one because it will also uh, improve or increase more participation. If citizens are being aware of what is being approved or what has been uh, released for execution, they will be more interested in following up to the budget processes and what have you. So under general problem challenges addressed by the commitment, we reframe it uh, to this much, to, to what we have seen, and added the last uh, uh, another uh, uh, column, sorry, another sentence. There is no engagement with the citizens during presentation of annual monitoring and evaluation implementation report, budget tracking report done by the Ministry of Project Monitoring and Evaluation. They do organize it, but because the commitment is speaking to ensure citizen participation in all budget process or in what in what budget cycle, but at this point, which is part of the budget cycle stage, no citizens were involved in the exercise. So that is why we categorically uh, picked up this one as part of the challenges that the commitment intends to uh, over test, uh, overcome. So under the, what is this? Suleiman. Um, yeah, main objective. The main objective remain as it is, but we added one another, one other objective. That is to ensure that citizens' input captured in the budget are implemented. Because the essence of participation is not only to, to, to submit as it is, an input or demand from the citizens, but to what extent do we want to like, see the implementation of this input that we submitted? So that's why we put it as part of the objective that the, the whole essence of citizen participation matters to achieve. So brief description remain as it is. Specific OGP challenge addressed by the commitment. Before we have like four, four specific OGP challenges, but because there is a passage of public procurement law, we take we, 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 we take out two other uh, uh, challenges because they are speaking to the issue of procurement, uh, having the framework and what have you. So we take them away. We only leave the first two uh, uh, challenges addressed by the commitment. So when does we see milestone go down? Yeah, on that specific milestone, we added uh, all the other milestones remain as they are, with the addition of uh, uh, item number eight, which is a conduct of annual citizen accountability report, with full, with full participation of all stakeholders. There is, as part of the reforms, what is called CAR, the citizen accountability report, where the budget uh, document or the the, 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 yeah, the budget document is trying to like showcase the extents to the citizens' input we are taking into account, then present them and what have you. So we take that as a part of what is uh, required. So when there are certain outcomes, all the outcomes remain as they are, with the additional increase of one, which is item number four, increase budget implementation. Uh, because the whole essence of participation is to see the implementation uh, is if, if, if most citizens are engaged in the budget process, 
in tracking, in monitoring, in reporting, in advocating, in what I do, there should be an increase in budget implementation, as we have seen. Under linkage to state budget, we have uh, taken into account the issue of medium-term revenue uh, strategy, which is uh, uh, an initiative uh, taken over by the Ministry, sorry, by the Economy uh, Internal Revenue Service, where they do organize uh, a, 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 like a, a workshop to review their performance in terms of revenue generation and also forecast for the three-year uh, revenue projection. So that exercise has been has been done, and uh, there is participation of citizens there. That is why we take it into account. So, which one? Yes. Yeah. So, so, so it is. It is what is uh, added under this one. So, looking at the plan activities, uh, virtually all our plan activities remain as they are and we, we updated the debts and also the indicators uh, as well as the, uh, the, the, the outcome, that's the result. So, you know, we have like production and population of citizens' budget. We advocacy on published MBA budget quarterly, on an hour submit. Okay. We, we added one. This item number four was not there before. We, we didn't share it with colors. Item number four, which is advocacy to facilities the development of draft fiscal responsibility law in the state. Uh, this is, uh, although we, 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 we argue, taking that the, the, the public financial management laws cover fiscal responsibility law. But our director said to say it's a different thing. And they even had a meeting with some technical team that want us to like facilitate the uh, enactment of this law at state level. So that is why we put it as uh, an activity to advocate for the development of the draft fiscal responsibility law in the state. Uh, so uh, all other all other activities remain as they are, only that we effect the changes uh, regarding the dates. Next. Okay, the second commitment of fiscal transparency is to uh, establish a legal administrative and rule administrative framework.
across the state to ensure grassroots outreach to enhance citizen participation, strengthen the delivery of accountability report, uh, dissemination of weekly executive council resolution to ensure effective citizens' feedback. And uh, the next one was uh, environmental, sanitation, and climate change management. As you can see, uh, the issue of uh, West is becoming uh, partisan to the state because that was, I think, the first major thing the government did was to uh, look, uh, look for ways to... Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, 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 thank you. West Madison. So, uh, the general problem here, we added one, which is weak citizens' engagement at MDA level. Because we found out that uh, the MDAs have been doing quite great work and there is no citizens' engagement. Mostly, it's within themselves, they do the engagement. There is no uh, outreach to the communities. The objectives, uh, look like that, and uh, even the brief just uh, commitments where well, it looks like that. You know, keep going. So, for the plan activities here, we have a uh, training on social inclusion for tax officers, and the second one we want to conduct a training for corporate bodies on gender and social inclusion. The reason why we have that uh, for corporate bodies is when you look at our institutions, mostly it's the public institutions that take into consideration uh, accesses for people with disabilities and even when it comes to opportunities, it's the public uh, uh, institutions. But the private institutions don't take into consideration when you go to our banks you go to uh, establishments, even uh, eateries, they don't even have considerations for people with disabilities. So we, uh, we talk about training them on inclusion. At least let them uh, be gender uh, inclusive sensitive in those things and even gender uh, sensitive. So thank you, that's the presentation for citizens engagement.
forwarded to the Ministry of Justice. It's very important. Because this is exactly what our, what our, what our assets in Canada do not have a long term. Most ministries in our zone, they don't have a number of things. We don't even have a number of houses in the house, we don't have a number of houses. So, it's the attempt to assist. And then we give you the books. They are looking for a big entries. I think this, this uh, register has been, has, has been, has been big great for some years. For, for, for some years now. Yeah, but now we are crossing the register and the process of taking. So, I'm sure why I have a good regard in the financial statement. Yeah, and the so I to see some difference. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you, thank 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 we need to understand that we are extending hand both for the civil society and the government. C to C, citizens to citizens, G to C, uh, government to citizens, G to G, government to government. Therefore, there are limitations. We need to understand this. Thank you. Yeah. We need to understand, as far as Kano is concerned, we do not have any asset uh, recovery and disbursement of the whole Ministry of Justice. What we have is asset recovery and disbursement framework. The law has not been recovered well, as far our Last engagement when Adamawa law was reviewed, submission by the law. That is our uh, So thank you very much. It takes money, buildings that could uh, complain have started to come to retain. And we need to have an establishment that will manage those assets properly. And to do that, you need to have a law by it. So we decided to start working on that uh, asset recovery law, which is not yet in place. We just have the framework in place. So it's something that uh, is part of our advocacy, right? To demand for the law to be in place so that uh, we can have a proper is it agency or any other ministries that are government is relevant. Ministry of Justice or Finance can handle that. Well, thank you very much, Corruption uh, Group. Then next service delivery. Mm -hmm. so, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Service delivery. We need to understand on the document that was given for us yesterday. There were so much uh, like mixed up, a kind of interwoven uh, mixture between what is the education, uh, health, Algorithm and even water resources. So, what we did, we started by segregating or segmenting each uh, component. And that is why, under education, we try in as much as possible to ensure what uh, any item belonging to education is being put under it. So when you look at it, the commitment is to enhance public service delivery in the education sector in Kano State. Then why can't you start from the beginning? I don't know. The service see. delivery as a thematic area, what is the commitment, commitment main commitment for service delivery? Then oh. you go into specific. Oh, okay, 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 okay. 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 So, when the major uh, the main commitment under service delivery is to enhance public service delivery in education, health, agriculture, and water resources. 
that is the major or the men are permitting her. And as I said in the beginning, what we did in order to avoid the mixture with segregated education, and that is why, number one, we have our education. Under education, you can see the next commitment, followed by starting, uh, starting at the end index 2022 to uh, 2020. For the lead agencies are two. It's Ministry of Education and Ministry of uh, Higher Education. Responsible persons that two commissioners are here and provided. Okay, these are state actors, then uh, non uh, state actors. We still have some uh, adjustment because if you look at it, councillor should be automatically under So now the next two are new administration priority in education. What we did here, we key into the major uh, blueprint of his excellency, uh, in Chinyaba, you see, and when you key into that particular document, these are the major priorities or issues outlined or intended to be delivered in, in Kano State, uh, some of which is continuation of the education as started in 2014 by the administration of uh, engineer like uh, Musa Bankwaso, uh, establishment of additional primary and secondary school. There are so many, you just go down the internet. Okay, if you look at it to review of existing policy on scholarship allowances for indigenous or indigenous students are indigenous indigenous indigen, indigen, so students of higher learning within and outside uh, the country you go down you just go down so what I'm what I'm trying to say in the nature under the priorities is a mixture of uh, to remain the subjects what the government intend to do at primary, secondary, and tertiary uh, level of education. That is why under the priority, there is completion of Northwest uh, University, creation of one more additional uh, university, the issue of uh, introduction of uh, digital learning new courses are much about at uh, tertiary level. So these are the challenges under uh, uh, education. Uh -huh. Now, these are some of the main uh, stones Recorded as our education is concerned, the one highlighted in red are some of the additional uh, insertions that we made over uh, five thousand staff that are employed from some MTS to teach across uh, primary school, secondary, and uh, tertiary institution. The existence of three and compulsory education under which the state is to suffer so primary uh, education including secondary education which is uh, declared since 2014 as free and compulsory education okay. now okay let's see some of the expectations now, some of our expected outcomes under education, number one is consistent allocation and release of 26% of the entire budget to uh, education. 
Number two, the issue, uh, the issue of girls education is still uh, put as we are aware in 2022, a budget line uh, is provided. There is need to ensure development of study home officers in all educational institutions in uh, in Panama State. So many uh, expected outcomes are provided to us. Okay, now plan our uh, activities because we have taken uh, so much time in our attempt to ensure uh, subjugation. That is why we couldn't uh, complete the entire uh, template, but immediately after our presentation, we are going to complete the data under performance indicators, design uh, targets. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if you look at the second uh, segregation, which is still under uh, service delivery, is a health component. And the commitment is to enhance public service delivery, which will be in health sector in, in Kano State. I'll go down, let's see some of the challenges to accomplish. And now, the lead MP is the uh, Ministry of Health. The responsible person, the Honorable Commissioner, who is here. Uh, state actors, non, uh, non uh, state actors, we are still going to make some uh, adjustment here because there are some that are supposed to be in education that are being uh, inserted here. Okay, these are the priorities of the current administration as far the blueprint is concerned. Just go down, this is one. Okay, now uh, these are some of the key challenges that the deter accomplishment of the commitment under uh, health, the issue of high uh, fertility rate, but the data is 20. and mortality rate, the issue of, uh, uh, it is estimated that there is a total of uh, eight staff, including non-medical staff in primary and secondary health facilities for uh, uh, 10,000 population. Okay, that is our 10,000 population in Kano State, a short fall of about four staff per 10,000 population compared to the recommendation by NPHCDA. Uh, the data is 2021 to uh, 2023. I believe one of the one of the commission I get that uh, I get at this particular presentation, we are going to see the challenges that we deter at the end of the commitment. Go to the next. Okay, now the milestone. Now, part of the milestone, Kano State has succeeded in uh, accomplishing the two percent uh, of Nuja Declaration, uh, Health Sector Regulatory Provision. Uh -huh. Next. Okay, Kano has succeeded in upgrading Party Health Council 
uh, General Hospital uh, 39 new standard PHCs within 44 local governments were established in accordance with uh, PHC uh, and LESP. I, I believe the Honorable Commissioner could remember during our presentation at Transition Planity, we made similar presentations having this similar uh, data because what we presented during the transition submission is an extract from what we achieved in OGP. So, Chiba, just go to the public. You have not done this? I have explained. Okay. okay. This uh, angle in particular is uh, is totally excluded from the second OGP uh, action plan. The little that was incited as far as angle is concerned is very scanty and haphazard. So what we did, we made an attempt to ensure that agri uh, is captured and after our presentation we are also going to make provision for water resources, we are also going to make provision for environment and climate change. But under agri we have a particular uh, commitment that is to uh, enhance public service delivery in public sector in, in Kano State in Kakasa. Okay, so the lead MGA is provided a responsible person then Chua Mahamu. Uh, that is a uh, designation is a commissioner. We are going to provide the student and the number. And totally we are going to change the state actors and uh, uh, non state actors. Then what we did, these priorities were extracted uh, from the blueprint of His Excellency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, these are, these are some of the challenges that would deter or hinder achievement of the legal commitment under uh, agriculture. Similarly, during our presentation to the transition uh, committee, this particular uh, data that was validated by uh, Haskell Kanono Initiative, Kanono Budget Working Group, is the exact uh, data that was being populated in, in the template. One of the major challenges that we are having in Kano State is our failure or our inability to ensure the attainment of 10% Mobutu Madabu uh, declaration on, on agriculture. Our trajectory to uh, religion is absolutely uh, insignificant. If I could remember, from 2015 to date, it ranges between minimum on average is 1.1%, maximum is around uh, 3%. So we have, we have identified some uh, challenges related to agriculture and other Let's go to the next one. Okay, now. Okay, these are some. Ah, uh, the mind is not going to be. That's all. So, this is our choice. Well, as far as our mind story is concerned, there is a little bit of mixture here. But as I said, agriculture is uh, totally ignored in the Santa Action Plan. 
So it's our own intention to ensure that Agri is now captured water resources, is captured the environment and climate change. So shortly after this presentation, uh, after taking your inputs, we are going to ensure that it is well given up all uh, the necessary inputs are captured before uh, submission. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
So even you know, after we just take information and yeah. put it down, all the us have to show everybody that to get the songs. There's no way we are national can be in all the WhatsApp groups across the country. That is a national WhatsApp group made up of people from every state. So the idea that if you drop any information there, you take it and drop in our state WhatsApp group so that uh, the information can spread. We also sent emails. So you know who to do. We ask other people to be email this of OGP security and the national security. Um, so there's no way we can get everybody here to so just add that our our So the internet is not the same thing to be there. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 so the job is to relay information from there. Yeah. So we are saying for the communication guard, don't worry, there will be other travels. This one has passed. So after the session, we need to have a invitation. I mean, I first got that. Let's have a invitation. Let's have a invitation. Okay, so that is not bad. So the thing is that most people we are rejected for that level of invitation. If you don't think I think we are very, very good. There are many there are some senior key NGOs in our region, civil society practitioners who didn't get to their top one. Code. Code exactly. Budget. For the National Government of Open Alliance, and they get it. Exactly. So, I don't know. so, so the surprising thing is that people that applied since June, July, they were rejected early late July. But people that, because it did not open a code for the registration, which only we can have. So, if you have people for the registration, you send to me, I'll send to the global. We sent some three days ago, and the next day they got the time invitation. Yes. The people that apply since June to July, we rejected after like two months. Yeah. So we don't know what the fact is. But what happened with this global search summit is that the government of Estonia are doing everything by themselves. When we went to Canada and Georgia, it was like this. Because even in Morocco, when we went to Morocco last year, they sent me a list of all the secret scientists that are not in Nigeria. So I was thinking the ones that are really not that would do. <coughs> yes. The government has said that they are going to do checks, security checks on the <laughs> Yes, that's why it delays. So they will do their own screening by themselves. Especially if you have rejected for Schengen visa before, they will deny you. So these are part of the issues. So that's why I think it's a issue. But the government will do their screening by themselves for two reasons. One, Estonia is a very small country. So there's no way you allow plenty of people to come. And two, because it's special, you get guys that are very careful of who that are going to do to the country. So, when you get that other invitation, the next thing you need is to start applying for visa. Because, so you can apply for visa to India, France, or Belgium. Belgium will require you to apply for visa at least two weeks to your travel data to the same thing in France. But it's like Belgium is much more easier to get to visa. Uh, so most of us did um, their job. We also have to do the visa application online and put an appointment to go and submit the documents. They are there to send us for a particular BSL that they may have. In Lagos and Abuja, so you can use them. From Lagos and Abuja. Then you do your ticket to salvation, do your hotel booking. They require that you will, you can do a booking for hotel and tickets. But when your visa is ready, you should have paid for those things before you collect your visa. Of course, you have the card, so there's a sheet with the student requirements and the salary for six months, letter of graduation from your office, uh, bank statement and all that. But what we do as well, you should be that if you require additional letter of graduation from us, you can write to them that, oh, this is so that people are going for to do those of these. They want to do additional things. So now also have to. To so you put your chances of getting the visa. We all know that Schengen visa is very difficult to get. Schengen is a very difficult visa. So, uh, all the support you need from us, we are very happy to, to provide. So, you go submit your documents, you do your biometrics, and start going to go for a visa. Now, what we want to do by the end of this week, because the people are getting um, replies from the embassy, are getting a note. We have gotten like four or five notes, so, so we want to engage them like that. We want to 
they can't be generated money from Nigeria. It's almost as if it's the targeted um, issue. There's plenty of people to come from Nigeria. Every country has a quota. When we went to Canada, we had a quota. I think it was for something. When we went to Georgia, we have more than eight. Yes. Georgia too is very good. One thing with Georgia is that Georgia, the, the way we are very good too. So the Prime Minister gave everybody to the bar. So they didn't think of that visa. Canada was a bit difficult to relate to the people. So we had to engage um, the embassy and we brought the visa for like for some purposes. So we also thinking of doing the same thing to get to 62 of that. Exactly. Because we intervene. So we also want to intervene because the kind of response we are getting from the job is not as hard. So we can intervene as a factor as well because people are looking for legitimate uh, business in the state that's in the most kind of visa. We are having that conversation with the national. Uh, then of course we travel. Then side events. Uh, we have a set of tango. We have a track I want to show this. If you have on my own side.
So if you ever learn this from Nigeria, we don't speak. Because it's our own side defense, so we can speak the way we want. Now, side events are, well, you know, we know what the side events There are different rooms, having different, maybe for a clear conference, for example, you can have close to eight side events. Maybe you can have a dream for our local regime or So you choose the one to attend, the one that catches your fancy. So you can attend, so there will be different rooms where people are gathered, talking about different issues. One can be on environment, one can be on public finance. So the one that you feel interested in. At the same time. At the same time. It's really, when we were looking at it, it was, there was the 9, 9.30 to 11, 11.30 to 1, 8 to 5 like that. So different rooms, different programs. So one of them will be the uh, Nigeria side event. So you look at it, to be the spread of the agenda of the day. Look at the room it is happening, and the time it's happening, and you attend the program. That's what the side event is. But the first place you know, we can't do is that we're going to like at the first. We're looking for that as closed. What we'll do, whichever one is successful from Nigeria, you can be here and support them. And as Nigerians, we can't even Nigerians in the event that's not attending, they want to continue or for them. You should attend our own side events. I hope that it's clear about side events. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So travel and return. Now, why everybody cannot go to the studio if you person should be planning to there are about 15 it would be very nice. Mm -hmm. And my will make uh, this mistake alone, come out on trips, and they are mostly down, and they are very important. So it would be necessary for those people that don't care, but also benefits from the lessons right. learned from the program. <coughs> so we can organize a step down this way and return. I can get paid to do that. Yes, I can get paid. <laughs> People that went from Canada to understand that. So we share lessons. What did we learn from? What are the other best parts of the Because countries will be there. When we're in Canada, over 100 countries came. So there will be networking, there will be cross learning there will be lesson learning. So what we pick from there, even when we went to Morocco, we learned many lessons. I can learn so many lessons. But when, you, when Sanjay was speaking to, to the public ceremony, he gave some. Um, Forward-looking um, okay. interventions people should take in their action plan, and that's what really informed our action plan at the national level. We drew heavily from that, from what he said that people should focus on going forward. So it's a huge learning um, space for everyone. But because everybody cannot be in a student, it is very necessary we come back, we cascade that way, and stamp it down with colleagues. Well, so we can also learn as if we're there. Right? And again, speaking to travelers. So the only thing you go for some is not the only travel available in the local governance place. There are plenty of for example, in the same part there's the Hawker County Corruption um, meeting in Atlanta, um, Georgia. That is the biggest gathering for anti corruption. Uh, so that's the mm -hmm. now, that, now again, the uh, opportunity for a social assembly. But if you have an Ecosoft status, you can attempt. Or you know somebody who has an Ecosoft status, you can put your name on that organization, you can apply visa, and push it apply a visa and get accreditation for travel. But for you to apply as an individual organization or a person as good. But if you don't even know who has Ecosoft samples, they, have, they don't have a number, you can request that people even to the day of travel. What's that, Ecosoft? Ecosoft. Ecosoft, what's that Ecosoft again? It's a status yes. in the UN that you have to apply to the case. So it's like, it's like when you're on the OGP, OGP Global. Yeah. You get, when you're on the OGP Global, this is, these are privileges you get from that global membership. So Ecosoc is also a privileged member of um, the UN. Uh, Anka, your so privilege is not as that of, uh, it's not as lucrative as that of Ecosoc. Because at OGP, is more, yeah. at OGP, you, yes, you are at the liberty to call Maureen or any other person to say, send me call. But in our own case, like you said, Ecosoc status, you just log in. You can just add person 
maybe we can give the example here. Yeah? By limit of people you can. Absolutely. Yes, yes, you can just add, the add the name, confirm. Automatically, if I like, I can do it at the gate of entrance. Add your name, mm -hmm. just present, and we'll give you time. Uh, I think uh, one of the members has uh, uh, that privilege. Uh, 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 you have to online. No. Before you your, 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 no, not your invitation will be sent to you, princes, but your pass will only be accepted. We will only be printed as a venue. Not that one. Uh, like, uh, like you said, when you have an episode status, just like, like me, I'm a DCP for UNFCC. I can just open the log mm -hmm. and add add you like you said. Once I decided to <coughs> add you now, automatically when I click confirm that I know you and I want you to attend, it will just be there in your mail automatically. The episode status is just a status that any organization can apply for if you fulfill all the requirements. I think you need to call uh now to come and give us all this so that others can benefit. Uh, no, 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 not all of
for those who are going for to to visa. But just say we are happy to do that. Don't do that. Oh, okay, so John, this so you just want to say that. Yeah, I see. I'll send the email pass. Give me a photocopy of that. Ask to your application. Oh, okay. Okay, another issue. Then, see, let, let us be honest. I'm saying that if we are going, there is no any high level or we are going as no OGP. The doctor is going to leave. Of course. Because we are going with uh, this guy, a technician for our Raga. This is one of the areas that we intend to present if we have a space for, for site events. So, we are going as a one family, and uh, we have already within us, I think uh, those that applied, I think Kenny has secured his uh, own invitation. So we are going to work like as a technical team to make sure that what the governor is going to present is something that is very cumbersome with it, and it will be around in case of any interactive no, session. That they are going to prepare him and prepare for that. Mm -hmm. we'll prepare for that. We are going to do this. See, see. I'll tell you something. Don't you think global are very happy when it's a high level political representation in some ways? In fact, they are each other to me last two weeks ago. I said, who are the high level government persons coming? They want to put them on strategic partners to speak. Yeah. So we are still waiting that. Also confirm that this is going to be very happy. Yes. We are on the way to refer was in Georgia. So they had a reception they got. And that was in Georgia. Wonderful reception. In fact, this whole session, out of the hundred session, was the most attended. The hall was feed to capacity. Because it's very fine. There were more than hundred sessions in Georgia. But his own was the most the hall was, was the most attended. So they are very happy that. High level political, because only this amount of political support will have investment. So that's what they are pushing for. So once they confirm that social person is going to be giving So you confirm so what? The X and sex and Yes, yes, I'll so, uh, Yes, please give me a list of everybody who is. Okay, these are people who are voting letter of invitation of cards. I will do that. Yeah. And the government is closer with the list of those who are voting visa that will eventually be there. I yeah. know how to place them. Uh, so let us go past them. Yeah. So you are working with the OTP Secretariat. Yeah, let's be yeah. getting that. Yeah. So that. Yeah. If I need to prompt the OTP Secretariat to the OTP Secretariat to the shop, we will do that. What is that? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, so those who are going for visa next week, we wish you good luck. We are praying for you. We are praying for you. We are for you. But we are facilitating that people will get visa. We can't allow people to just. So we are going to high level facilitation. And they get their visa. That's enough. Give us a slot. We must get to a school. My question is that the government is going to be there. Yes, of course, they are. Can you just tell me what is the status of the visa? Yes, of course, they are. And I'm going to leave us. Really, really, really. So here, yeah, the session for visa. For this uh, is there's Lagos and Abuja. So this of us in Canada, I think Abuja is in Lagos. Yes, and some of you have too much money to go to Lagos, it's fine. And Lagos is even in VR. So you get the UK job. You just have a fresh job to go to VR. You go to that next session. She'll pay. And you know he was there when I cleaned Abuja. And I took that for me. But I left. And then too, uh, no, I finished. The only thing I did was really You did pay money. Then the following is now, after they sent me a confirmation, Abuja. Then yesterday they sent me final confirmation. She's a VIP. Okay, maybe you did VIP. The VIP is in Lagos. No, they have two on the shopping uh, cart. They, right. they tell you the evening option. So for me, I went because they said if you go, you not follow queue. So, no, 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 yeah, yeah, that today is there. The total law is there. The video is there. Who is there? 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 Who
explain by the way. For any information or more articles, you always come here. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to go see for seven. Okay. So, the barrack is you. you. Cannot try. And I understand Hanu. So, um, Kano Tractor started as a uh, election engagement for the Kano State uh, elected officials. Uh, as I kind of engaged the Kano State gubernatorial candidate before the election, uh, in which, as part of our uh, post engagement plan, uh, we developed a, uh, a tracking tool to assess or track the uh, government, promise, uh, government promises. So the tracker is, uh, is an interactive web tool uh, which we designed with uh, which, which we designed to capture all the promises that were being uh, mentioned by His Excellency in the 2022 conference. So I uh, will just go straight into into the website. There is no command presentation. You just go through the tracker and see how, how it works. And also to broadly, since uh, there is possibility for it to be uh, projected elsewhere uh, to give additional insight so that we can improve it for, uh, for better representation. So um, the tracker has uh, about uh, five to six functional menu functionality. Uh, the first one is the um, uh, the first one is the tracking, which is the mind functionality of the tracker. We digest all the, uh, all the promises that have been made by His Excellency and create a certain KPIs, key performance indicators, that we are going to track to ensure that the promises have been, uh, that have been made must be kept. Also, uh, another uh, function of the tracker is resources. We provide citizens with the resources that will help them understand what the, uh, what the government is currently doing. Ranging from the blueprint itself, we have it on the site, uh, we have the inaugural speech, we have uh, the, uh, different chapters that have been developed by different civil society organizations. We also have budgets of the 2023 budget, and we will keep updating with the, with the recent budget that is going to be developed for 2024. Uh, besides, we also have uh, canon legislators. So we have this, uh, a, a platform of the tracker which is showcase canon legislators. We'll be able to see who is representing who. And we are intending on the legislator part to, uh, to include their on social media and go away to reach your other legislators as a citizen. Uh, also, we have um, uh, we have citizen portal which is currently under development, and the uh, functionality of this citizen portal is to give citizens a kind of feedback and repair the agreement mechanism on any of the project that is being listed on the on the tracker. So, if you have any issue that you want uh, that you want to be addressed, so uh, we are building a, a citizen portal that. We so with all that said, I'm going to the uh, to the uh, to the tracker. So this is the home page. And to access the tracker, I need to go to canotracker.org, uh, which is uh, which is live on the internet. So this is the home page of the tracker. So this is our key objective for this tracker, which is the major part is to raise awareness. And second, to identify areas for improved service uh, delivery. Second is to mobilize public opinion because, as all mentioned by the other presentation that has been done or with all, from all the sectors, the whole idea is to improve uh, service uh, delivery. Also, increase transparency. Also, extracting that needs to publish it here. So, this is another part, as I mentioned, we have a resource tab. So uh, directly from here, you can download the uh, the canal uh, engineer of the BBC blueprint, which is our commitment for canal 2023 and beyond. You can see all the other download link here. You can also access more resources. Here. So just as some of the, the 
uh, partners, this is a proposal that is actually in the board to that help in the development and validation of the, uh, of the program. So uh, let's me go to the to the tracking page.
also, uh, we know all these policies. We know, uh, we know a lot of ministries, they have projects and activities that are not inside the, the blueprint. So we add additional cap that will help us track uh, all of the projects that are outside of the blueprint. Because some of these ministries are more ambitious than what the governor have already mentioned. So uh, we cannot let that on track. Also, if you are to measure their performance, you are not going to measure only their performance by what uh, by the promise that the government made and they kept it, but by the project you have been able to execute for uh, uh, citizens. So this is how it's also going to look like. Uh, we are going to list all the projects on uh, progress. So let's uh, me quickly go to higher education also, just as a sample to see how it looks. So this is ministry for uh, ministry for higher uh, for higher education. So uh, we have the honorable commissioner for, for this particular ministry, and also. Yeah. <laughs> so now he has some stuff that but you have to sit down together with him so that he can improve on the information you have available at the track so that you can update. Alright, and now if you have any questions or questions you can please. Contribution. <laughs> 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 A good one, no doubt, woman so far, something she did, Zamu Jiladana so in my own understanding, for every government to function properly, we need to have the executive, the order, the judiciary, and then the legislature. So this trial is only talking about the executive. Why we're going to show what we should meet our legislators, right? But what about the judiciary? That is like an incorporated thing in the back of the judiciary, the muscle, the legislators. ま、<笑><笑><笑> Interest in Sukodoshi, how are we going to finance when you are project? To Kabata achieve some money, there are a source of income. 
Und der hat gesagt, so, 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 it doesn't only counterpart funding that is the one agency outside. She was a Aruta. When they say to her, why did she want to go to the city? I want to go to the city. 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 I want to go to the city.
talking about it. But if you say that, not to that. You don't want to say that. You don't want to say that.
is being determined by the people themselves in partnership with the government priorities. Also, Eva has been a big year. I think this is the second time I'm talking here. None has been introduced from somewhere else. We look at the government documents, we look at our needs, we look at our laws, and we prioritize what we wanted to do. Should we wait for someone from UK or from Abuja to come and push us to implement what we are doing? No, not at all. Do we need to wait for someone from somewhere? No. By implication, I'm instructing commitment from you that you will do what you want. Yes. Is it a commitment? Yes. So this is what brings us to the last steps and what we need to do. And one of it is compilation, updating what we agreed to do here by thematic leads. I'm sure some of the leads are not here, but the co-chair and the representative of His Excellency are here. She will secure commitment from you without any prompting from any diplomatic partner that all the thematic leads will have a final look of the document. Yes. Government yes. 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 is to validate what has uh, to harmonize the document. And this harmonization is being taxed on the OGD Secretariat. Yes. Your yes. Excellency, yes. we will present your honor. Should I check your words that you don't need any development partner, anybody from anywhere to come and ensure that the OGP Secretariat is able to have a this document? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Then the next thing is a tax based on the representative of the Excellency who is equally here with us. But the forward stage will be reviewed the Secretariat, under your vote to your Excellency and the court here, will develop an independent report of what has transpired here and share with the government's headquarters within the state. Yes. And then, you to me, what under this responsibility is true? What can be assigned to those that provide technical support for this event? Because you have to get up. Because you know, that is the function of the secretary. This is the function of the secretary. I can look for people to support them. This is the secretary. This is the person. I can look for people to support them. This is the secretary. This is the person. This is the person. This is the person. This is the and this discrimination, I wish it would be a grand one. A grand one where His Excellency and other stakeholders in the Council will be in attendance for one of the commissioner, the NSS to attack presenting to the people of Kano. So that everybody would know what is expected and the political by in such commitments in the OGP staff to enters. Okay, what is the date? What is the date for this? Well, 28th. Will your course enter? Do it enter? Okay. Yes, 28th of August. The Ministry of Finance and Land Budget, they have suggested that. We can present, we can disseminate to our own. They are empty. 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 Empty.
And I will not mind in principle to permit that a small team, I can support a small team to go to Kaduna and see how they have taken OGP to local government. So now we can And I think we are taking, we are taking a, a bold step under some engagement. We are going to work with CRC chairman. And the purpose is to grassroots the OGP at the grassroots level. So we are going to work with the OMGS, chairman of CRC, to enlighten them, orient them about the OGP. And then the other activities that are going to happen for CRC and local government, we are going to capture the, some element of OGP principles, making sure people are contributing to the process. So I think uh, on this, we are taking care of it and us but we will really appreciate if we can take some for excellent business or learning to, to see how we can do it. I don't know how it's been done, but I really can look forward. Because with CIC in place, I'm sure there are going to be massive resources and local government folks that require citizens' engagement and accountability. Yes. Before that, you make mention of how to print the document, how to print the document. Uh, yes, yes. So, yes. Let's be the dissemination will yeah. cover. Okay. What we intend to do first, we are going to, after the signature, we are going to make it a PDF document okay. that will be circulated across. Okay. And then, I'm sure within these days, these responsibilities will equally have some work on action plans. Under this committee will have their action what they need to do to get to this level, mm -hmm. then what needs this needs to be to get to this level, yeah. and what we saw there are some, what some, some action plans that could be designed and supported by the other ones. We might take this. Why can't you take the of printing the document? Who? Uh, what's up? Uh, who will take that? No, I think there are possibility of the most the last time the arbitration against that printing. Yeah. Uh Pell Pell is providing support to citizens and governments to functionally use their resources to improve. No, not really. That's what we are doing. Maybe you don't Yeah, so so, so integrating it, disseminating it, having the hard copies. I'm sure the second one will be willing yes. to do that. I'm very much sure of that. And even translating it to Hausa and oh, to Kula and Hausa, to Kula and
from you and one among you, inshallah, or two months of this that what we were the case to involve you, inshallah, or two months of this is that we have the best control from the part of the, all the commissioners, all from part of His Excellency, and the Jambos, and the Yusuf, from this long, I assure you that we uh, will do our own part, that it will forward the review of the fourth page. The and the other things. So I wish you all the best. I wish you said, Jonathan,